Uh, I will be discussing in this video uh, how to compute for coordinates of its uh, station or if this is on the closed loop traverse, yung parang area, ganun, uh, corners. Kung traverse naman, diba, meron tayong sa kalsada yung ganyan mga traverse okay traverse line ito yung tinatawag nating traverse yung these are this is an interconnected lines in which the distance and direction are known so in some distance so okay, ito either azimuth or bearing di ba so, pag alam yan, tawag na ito is traverse. The process is uh, traversing, and, uh, surveying. Traverse surveying or traversing. Yan. Na, tawag na ito, mga, mga station ito, stations. Yan. In a closed loop traverse, pag yan, yung mga sa lot mga yan mga land um, lot area ano so ang tawag natin dito corners so we will be uh, studying in this video how to compute for the coordinates coordinates of stations or um to mga corners and, uh, yung depende lang sa kung saan siya ginagamit pero basta point siya coordinate of the point kasi ito line o ganyan meron tong coordinate dito katulad din nung sa x and y axis diba pag meron kang point dyan yan, may coordinate ka dyan tapos kung meron kang point to meron ka din coordinate dyan yung yung x, diba? x y1 dito na, dito na x2 y2 so yung layo from the y axis, x yan yung, yung layo naman from the x axis, y yan ito yung y ito yung x y ito yung x so ganyan lang yan so, in surveying, hindi X and Y yung gamit natin, pero pwede rin gamitin. Ang term natin dyan is northing. Well, ito yung Y. Dito, pataas, pababa, northing. And uh, to the right is easting. Dalawa lang yan. Walang westing, walang southing. Kasi nga yung, uh, yung coordinate system, yung di ba, napag-aralan na natin yung sa uh, yung, meron tayong meridian, uh, equatorian, ito yung primarian, ito yung mga grid circles, ito yung parallel, di ba? grid circles, lahat ng circle na dyan ay dumadaan dito sa North and South Pole. Ayan. Ang tawag tas sa kanila ay Great Circle. Great Circles. Yung pinaka zero niyan, yung tinatawag natin yung Prime Meridian, di ba? Meridian. Sa Greenwich. Sa may ikuan. Meron din tayong Greenwich, di ba? Sa may Gaisano. O yung talagang Greenwich, nandun yung marker ng Narker ng Prime Meridian. So, na, na kukuha natin pag papunta rito, yan, di ba? Longitude yan. Longitude. Yung papunta sa taas dito, uh, latitude, di ba? Latitude. So, yung coordinate ng ng lugar sa sa mundo sa earth 
ay nakukuha pa pangitan ng longitude and latitude. So yan, makukuha mo yung coordinate niya. So depende kung saan siya nakarefer. Sa, sa Pilipinas, meron din tayong sariling coordinate system. Kasi hindi naman tayo mag, kung global, ang lalaki na ng, lalaki na ng number niyan. So pwede localize lang yan, up to uh, 20,000, parang ganun. Okay, so sa mga small projects, hindi eh, naman yung malalaki yan na project. Uh, nag a lang tayo ng coordinate natin for our purpose kasi hindi naman kailangan na one. Uh, palaging nasa first quadrant tayo to yung north saka east so yung assumption lahat ng area mo lahat ng traverse mo nandito lang sa quadrant so uh, mag a ka ng number yung pinaka uh, malapit dito malapit dito yan na hindi ka pag minus mo i-add yung latitude or departure hindi siya bababa dito so kung yung mga pag mga distances mo is mga 100 lang or 200 so you may assume 500 sa isang coordinate yung pinaka mababa o pinaka left most 500 so pupunta na yun dun sa kanan yung yung points mo yung coordinate mo pupunta ng taas yung coordinate mo kasi nga nasa dito lang tayo usually yung sa mga surveying pag malalaki na yung uh, area uh, pa na yun basta ba up to mga kilometers na Usually, yung coordinate na ginagamit is 20,000. Yung initial. So, mag-minus plus ka man dyan, eh, hindi yan mauubos. Hindi yan mag-negative. Palaging positive yung coordinate mo. Pero of course, yung latitude and departure, depende yan sa kung nasa taas o sa baba ay yung points mo. So, i-discuss na natin yung coordinate pag compute. Alam ba, meron tayong line. May natin 100 meters. Yung simple lang muna. Okay, ito yung initial point mo. Let us say um, A. Ito yung B mo. Okay. Now, let us see that the bearing, ang bearing nito is uh, north 60 degrees east. So, 60 yung po natin kasi alam natin yung, yung sign of 60 is 0.866, diba? Yung cosine of 60 is 0.5. So, mas madaling ma makompute natin. Tapos yung distance natin, 100. So, madali lang yung computations. Okay? So, anyway, sa example problem lang naman yan. So, pwede gawin na ito. 70.06. Uh, ito naman, north. 60 degrees, 30 minutes, and 20 seconds. Parang ganun. Anyway, yung pag-illustrate lang naman kung paano. So, usually, kasi nga sabi ko, pag ito lang yung mga mag-100 meters mo, pwede ka mag-assume, kasi mag-assume ka ng coordinate lang. Assume coordinate of A, station A, pa, norting, uh, 500 Easting 500 Okay? So, yun yung So, yung A Kung baga sa kuwan Yung layo niya Is 500 papunta dyan 500 papunta dyan Okay? Ito yung it, Yung Pataas, easting yan. No, uh, Norting coordinate, 
yung pakanan is easting coordinate. Kung pag nandito ka, tapos babalik ka, okay, easting coordinate din yung makukuha mo. Kasi nga, dito tayo sa east. Hindi tayo lalagpas ng west. Okay, dito. Kaya nga, ni, make sure na yung initial assumption mo ay hindi mag kakaroon ng negative value yung norting at easting. So, in this case, if you want to solve for the coordinate of this, so, kung yung, yung coordinate nito, yung, yung taas nyan, di ba? Yan, ganyan naman yan. Saka yung layo nya dito, ito ang tinatawag nating easting. Ito naman tinatawag nating norting. Okay, so, Norting, Easting. Okay, so this is, uh, alam na natin na this is 500, diba? 500, ito ay 500. So, kung gusto natin kunin yung, yung coordinate nito, ano ba yung, yung Norting, anong gagawin natin? So, dapat malaman natin kung ano yung itong distance na to. Diba? So, norting of A. Diba? So, the norting of B. Ito, norting of B. Ito, itong task na to. From, from here up to here, yan ang norting ng B. Is equal to norting of A norting of A plus this distance okay this distance ano itong distance na to this is the latitude of the line di ba plus latitude uh, latitude A to B so ganyan lang naman so, kung yung easting of B naman ang kukompute natin, so this is equal to easting of A, which is this one, from here up to easting of A, A, plus ano itong distance from here up to here? This is the departure. So, this is departure of line A to B. So, ganyan lang yung, yung yung formula. Pero wag yung uh, pwede naman memoryahin ito. Uh, second uh, if you want to get the uh, coordinate of second point yun lang. I-add o minus lang. Depende kung nasaan lugar. Kung nasa baba, di simple uh, mag- uh, ma-minus ka. Kung nasa taas, magpa-plus ka. So, ito muna ating um, ka natin. It is directed upward and directed to the right. So, lahat yan ngayon ay uh, positive. So, just add the latitude and departure to the coordinate. So, yan lang. So, we need to solve for the latitude of A and B. So, latitude AB is equal to, di ba yung formula natin? Distance times the cosine of the bearing angle. Lagay natin, this is equal to... <coughs> One hundred times cosine of sixty degrees, or this is equal to fifty meters. Yung departure naman of line AB is equal to distance times sine of bearing angle, and this is equal to one hundred times sine of sixty. We know that the sine of 6 is 0 0.866, therefore this is equal to 86.6 6 
meters. So, yung coordinate na ng B, wala. Isting of B is equal to isting of A, yung preceding point, ha? Or yung first point. Yung nasa second point tayo sa B. O kahit anong tawag mo dyan, basta yung yung sunod. Either pabalik o pag, pag anon, depende lang yan. So, mag-rely lang kayo sa drawing and then use your common sense kung saan siya pataas, pababa, left or right. Parang ganun lang. So, AB is 500 plus the latitude which is 50. So, yung AB now is 550 meters. So, ito, from here up to there, 550. Eh, Siyempre, yung departure mo is 50, di ba? So, 500 plus 50 will give us this. Is, uh, nasaan yun? Pataas. 500 plus this one, 50 yung latitude. So, ito yung task na yan. Sorry, hindi, hindi parang... Okay, so yung pakanan naman is... Ay, tingnan mo na. Ano ba yung sinusolve natin? Tingnan mo na, nagkakamali tayo. Norting ito, bat by sting. Ito, 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 ito. Mukhang pagod na ako ah. So yung easting of B, okay, it will be 500 from here plus yung departure which is 86.6, 86.6. So this is 586.6 meters. Okay, uh, meters in unit natin. So, yung isting kanina ito, so 500 plus latitude, so yun ang taas ngayon ng B. So, ito na yung coordinate ngayon ng B. Uh, Norting niya is uh, 550, yung isting niya is 586.6. So, ganun lang yan. Okay. So, the same, kwan lang yung gagamitin natin, angle lang, ibayin lang natin yung direction. Okay. So, limbawa, okay ba? Limbawa, yung given natin ay, yung A, in station A, okay? Yung north thing niya is, uh, sabi natin, 800. Yung east thing is uh, 500, okay? Assuming na ganyan yung, basta hindi, basta kaya lang kung yung minus minus mo, kaya hindi maging negative yung answer. So, yung direction niya is south, okay, yung direction niya is south 30 degrees east, okay, south east. So, kung i-drawing natin, nandito siya. Okay? Plot muna natin yung A. Okay, yung station A, sabi, na, sabi natin, ito yung station A. Ay, hindi. Ito yung, yung, yung meridian natin. So, yung north thing natin is 800. Okay, 800 ito, 800. Yung easting natin is 500. Yung natin nandito. Okay, i-plot natin ito. So, nandyan yung yung A natin. So, from here, mag-drawing ka na ngayon ng meridian mo. 
Tapos ipa-plot mo ngayon yung southeast. Punta yung distance. Ito muna. Distance, 100 meters. Para madali yung computations natin. So, from here, south, 30 degrees. Ito. So, ipapakompute sa atin yung B coordinate. Okay? Ano yung northing? Ano yung easting? So, we have to compute kasi nga, may ba yung panya? Nandito yung 800. Para makuha natin yung label nito o yung coordinate nito, yung norting niya, diba? Norting yung pataas, pababa. We have to compute this distance. Ito, ito. Ayan, ito. Which is, ano to? This is the latitude of the line. Ito naman, from A, which is 500, diba? 500 ito. From here up to here. About hanggang dyan. Uh, we have just to add, to add the departure of the line and we get now the uh, easting coordinate of B. So, kailangan lang makuha natin yung latitude which is equal to distance 100 times cosine of 30 degrees. And of course, this is 86.6 kasi yung cosine of 30 is 0.86 Nagbabalik taran lang yan, yung 30 sa ka-60, yung sine and cosine. While yung departure is equal to 100 times sine of 30 degrees. And sine of 30 is 0.5, this is, therefore this is 50 meters. Therefore, yung norting natin, norting, uh, south ito, di ba? Therefore, negative yan. Minus yan. South kasi pababa. Nandito tayo, nasa south. Di ba yung sign convention natin? South, negative. North, positive. East, positive. West, negative. So, ganyan yan. So, kahit hindi na kayo mag-plot, i-follow nyo lang ito. Pag south, i-minus mo. Yung depart ay uh, yung latitude. So in this case, this is uh, yung yung coordinate niya is to northing is 800 nung A. So minus kasi nga south pababa. Minus the latitude which is 86.6. Ay yung easting naman is equal to 500 so, tingnan natin na east is positive. Therefore, plus. Okay? Plus 50 meters. So, yeah, makuha muna yung mga coordinate. So, ganyan lang yung pagkuha ng coordinate ng points. Now, yung... Yung variation nito na prob mga problems, bibigyan ka ng coordinate. Kasi ganito na, no? uh, minsan kasi may mga lugar na hindi maabot. Alam ba, uh, may obstruction dito. And you want to get the, the distance. Sabi natin, may mga dinosaur dito, hindi mo ma Hindi mo ma-occupy. Mataas, tapos may mga dami, mataas na bukid, tapos may dinosaur pa lang. Tapos, okay, yan, ganyan yung lugar mo. Parang, ito. So, meron kang, meron kang traverse dito. Yung mga line. So, hindi mo kaya na, ganyan. So, titigil ka dyan. Ah, uh, Pupunta ka dito, punta ka dyan. Okay? So, from here, mag, magkakaroon ka ng yung site nyan. Tapos, isa site mo yan. Kukunin mo yung distance, saka 
bearing or azimuth. So, distance tapos bearing. So, if you want to get now the distance, itong, ito nga, yung, yung distance from this point up to this point, kasi di mo nga ma-occupy, ma ma kasi bukid siguro ito. Dito ka duman. So, computein mo na lang. So, kung makukuha mo yung coordinate nito, di ba? Di ba? Alam mo yung coordinate dito. Alam mo yung distance ng bearing dito. So, makukuha mo yung latitude and departures. So, makukuha mo yung coordinate dito. So, meron ka na dito ng northing, meron kang easting. Na kung dito naman, ganun din. So, from the, from the coordinate of this station, kukunin mo yung coordinate dito kasi nga, alam mo naman yung yung distance sa kabiring, di ba? So, makukuha mo yung coordinate dito. Northing, easting. So, ganun din dito. Northing, easting. Alam mo din yung distance ng bearing dyan. So, makukuha mo yung northing, easting nito. Now, if you want to get this line, yung direction sa distance niya, ibaliktad mo lang yung procedure. Diba yung, yung ginawa natin, yung, yung formula, uh, Norting 2 is equal to Norting 1, yung initial sa second point dito. Alam ba, meron tayong, this is 1, this is 2, okay? Ito yung start mo, ito yung end point. Minu, Norting 1, nag add lang tayo ng latitude of line 1 to 2. Ito. Latitude. So, para makuha mo yung level dito, add mo lang. So, kung south, minus mo. So, yung easting 2 naman, ganun din. Uh, easting 1 plus departure of line 1 to 2. Now, Kung balik ta rin natin, kukunin natin yung latitude sa ka-departure, eh, ganyan lang. Uh, latitude of line 1 to 2 is equal to, i-transpose lang natin, is N2 minus N1 will give us latitude. And departure of 1 to 2 is easting 2 minus easting 1. Diba? Ganun lang nga. Itong level na to, which is uh, northing 2, it, yung level na to is northing 1. So, im, pag i-minus mo to, makukuha mo yung latitude. Pabaliktad lang yung solution, ba? Tapos ito naman, ba? Itong distance na to, alam mo itong, this is easting 1, this is easting 2. So, itong distance na to, ito yung departure. Diba? So, so, easting 2 minus easting 1 will give us departure. Ito na nga. So, ima-minus mo lang. And then, if you know departure latitude, so yung, yung part 3 natin, di ba, yung pagkuha na ng distance and bearing. So, magpunta ng example. Uh, assume tayo. Natin. Sabihin natin na meron tayong uh, station 1 Norting is uh, 500 Easting is uh, 600 na yung station 2 northing is yeah northing 2 is um lagyan na natin ng 1 ito 1 1 para hindi tayo malito Norting 2, let us see, we have 580. Easting 2 is um, 660. 
Okay, determine uh, ito yung given mo required ano, anong requirement? Uh, distance and bearing of line 1 to 2. Kasi pwede yung 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 pagkuha ng line 2 to 1. Uh, di ba? Pagpapunta doon, nagpapunta ito, hindi, hindi pareho yung bearing yan. Na mayroon tayo yung tatawag na back bearing or back azimuth. Yung opposite. Okay? Kunin natin yung ito una. So, yung latitude of 1 to 2 is equal to uh, northing 2 minus northing 1. Yan. So, ano yung northing 2? 580. Yung northing 1, 500. Therefore, yung latitude natin is 80 meters. How about the departure of 1 to 2? This is easting 2 minus easting 1. Okay, this is, this is equal to easting 2 is 660 minus... Six hundred, therefore sixty meters. Three, four. Okay, so alam na natin latitude, di ba? Meron tayong ganyan. Ito yung bearing angle natin, yung triangle natin. Opposite to that is the Departure below is the latitude. So, uh, tangent of bearing is equal to the bearing angle is departure 60 over 80. Okay? And bearing angle is equal to arc tangent is mas simple pa na divided by 20 so 3 fourth or point 75 so yan kunin na lang calculator as makuha mo na yung direction natin ay ano so this is positive this is positive therefore yung direction natin ay north Kung ano yung makompute natin na bearing, dyan, north, east. So, ito yung bearing natin. Yung distance naman, ang dali lang, di ba? Pythagorean formula. Um, departure squared plus latitude squared. So, ganyan lang yan. So, substitute. Departure, 60 squared plus 80 squared. You add and you take the square root, you get the distance. Okay, so ganun lang kasimple. Sa halimbawa, meron tayong uh, additional na point. Uh, yung point 3. Ano ba yung station? Ano tayo ng space? Ano na? Diba? Ito yung station 2. Yung northing niya is 580. Yung easting niya is 660. Alam ba? Meron tayong another point, station 3. Okay? Uh, northing niya is 440. Yung easting niya is uh, 710. Okay, so, yung line natin is 2 to 3. Line 2 to 3. Okay, ito yung line natin 2 to 3. Kukunin natin ngayon yung distance and bearing. So, before we can do that, uh, 
Kung hindi naman i-plot mo ito para kung i-plot natin, ganito yan. Para ma-imagine ma ma natin. Yung station to, uh, Norting, sabi natin ito, five, sabi natin ito yung 580, yung taas, saka ito yung 660. Okay? Ito yung, yung intersection niya, ito yung station to, ito. Okay? Yung station 3 is, yung north thing is 440. 580 ito, di ba? So, yung 440 nasa baba. So, assuming na ito yung 440, dito yung 440. Okay? So, ito yung level ng 440. Tapos, yung sting niya is 710. This is 660. So, nandito yung point no. This is 710 to the right, di ba? At yung task. Therefore, kung i-plot mo yan, ito na yung uh, station 3 mo. Pag i-connect mo yan, meron ka ng line. Okay? Ito yung uh, ano ito? latitude. Ito yung departure. Ganyan So, nakasiguro tayo na ano yung direction natin. South, east. Okay? South, east. So, dapat yung lumabas dito na computation is positive and negative. So, let us solve for the latitude. Latitude is yung second point. This is now northing 3 minus northing 2. So, this is 440 minus 580. Okay. Magkano to? 40. So, 440. So, this is uh, 140. Uh, of course, this is negative. Okay, negative. Yung departure natin. So, alam natin pag sa latitude, di ba? Pag north, positive. Pag south, negative. So, alam na natin na ito ay south. Uh, yung drawing natin, south, di ba? Pababa, south. Yung pataas, north. So, tama yung computation natin. So, yung departure naman is thing 3. 710 minus 660. Okay. This is equal to uh, 50. And this is positive. Diba? So this is is So ganyan. So pagkuha na yung pagkuha na yung bearing angle, tangent na naman diba, tangent bearing is departure over latitude, yung distance ganun din square root of departure squared plus latitude squared so ganyan lang yung pagkuha ng coordinate so pag-aralan lang yan kasi kung hingin yung what is yung yung 3 to 1 line 3 to 1 so yung 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 latitude mo ay ito yung second point mo na ngayon yung 1 di ba 3 to 1 so north 1 minus north 3, north thing. Yung easting naman ay easting 1 minus easting 3. So, whatever is the result, sa so tandaan lang yung ito. So, yung west, negative. Pag negative yan, west yan. Pag positive, east. So, tandaan na lang kung anong yung answer dito, yun ang madirection nyo. So, medyo i-summarize na lang yung napag-aralan nyo kasi napakadali lang naman. 
Tapos no, you try to make notes na lang para hindi nyo malimutan yung mga uh, uh, yung mga tinuro ko. Kasi nga, mahaba yung explanation para maintindihan niyo Pero kung alam mo na, ay nako, napakadali lang yan. Parang parang grade 1 lang yan. So, this will end the discussion on coordinate of station or corner or any point, so being points.